De La Wright, my envious. Welcome. Report reaching us right now is that, you know, uh, Dr. Lizzie was in tears as, you know, um, she joined Oni of Ife to beg um, Yanifa to stay um, longer that, um, of course, um, Oni of Ife was telling Yanifa that um, she, he knows Nami very well, that Nami is just upset, that her anger is uh, momentary, that Nami is going to come around, that Yanifa should not look at the way Nami left and decide to leave that uh, Nami is his wife that he knows Naomi more than anything. And I think that is where um, KBSC may be getting it all wrong. If you know, if he knows Naomi very well, I think he needs to understand that Naomi is somebody who is very, um, uh, uh, Nami has a very serious personality. Um, uh, each time Nami says she's not doing again, she's not doing, even though up until now, everybody around Queen Nami is reacting. But the only thing she has done is that she has just moved quietly um, to um, the royal mansion. Of course, uh, the royal mansion is her house. It belongs to her and everything. And she's got every right in the world to be there. And while a lot of people are saying Nami should just stay in the royal mansion and be married to the only of Fair. And some people keep saying this thing. So I know that everybody has a right to their own opinion. If you know me very well, I'm not one who will, you know, jack you for having your own opinion. I would never do that because, uh, of course, I am enlightened enough to know that people must have their opinion. But when uh, you tell a young woman as pretty as Olori Naomi to just stay in the royal mansion and be married to the owner of Ife, I don't know how visible that is. As for you who is a woman, will you be able to just stay somewhere and be married to a man who is um, in, in the other place and you don't even know. The thing is that for me, I want to believe that it is Nami's decision at the end of the day. She decides that she wants to stay with the Oni of Ife. None of us can do anything. Just as I said um, about Oletik, when, you know, each time I said they were going to bring her back to the palace or welcome her to the palace, everybody will be jacking me on the comment section. I kept telling you that when that time comes, there's nothing you and I can do. Now, I am also saying this again. If it is Naomi's decision to be with her husband, there's nothing you and I can do. But however, let it be her decision. Like Yanifa made, um, um, made, um, said, let Naomi be given other options, okay? Not just give her one option. You're not going to divorce her. And now that's the only option you have for her. Of course, knowing that she will be lonely for the, uh, uh, the rest of her life, why wouldn't she come back to the palace? And right Right now, we are hearing that it, it was a very big, like, um, um, uh, wahala as Yanifa got really, really upset over what, like, she, it's almost as if she's been spending her entire uh, life. She said she left her grandchildren, everybody to come here just because she wants to help Kabiesi because Kabiesi is a good man. But for her to have come to realize that the entire, almost half of last year, um, 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 uh, uh, Early, um, early, um, earlier in the year, sorry, she was here and she spent all of that time and now she thought she succeeded only to find out that um, she did not succeed. It's something that... So for her to have come to realize that um, all the time she spent in the palace and everything was just for nothing. They said it really broke her heart. And But then again, um, they said she just decided she was leaving. And they said Dr. Elizabeth um, begged um, um, and KBSC begged for her to stay. And she said no. That the only thing that will make her even think of coming back again to Nigeria is um, if she finds out that Olori Naomi is comfortable with the situation. Olori Naomi knows everything everything and knows what she is fighting against because you cannot just put a woman in a place where she is um, um, uh, battling, you know, so, um, so many different forces every minute of the of her day. She's fighting with forces in the morning, in the evening, at night, she's fighting with forces, fighting with cards, fighting with everything. And, you know, from what is going on right now, um, it's almost as if KBSC is exposing her even more we saw what happened. We saw that right up where um, uh, uh, Ebony had mentioned that um, her baby is a, is a crown prince. Uh, she, well, um, she is saying that maybe because she's blue blooded, the only of Ife is blue blooded. 
and she knows that okay, maybe um um Oletik is not blue blooded, even though the only of her is blue blooded, and in her mind, maybe Olori Naomi. Now, these kinds of you know um um stuff is something that can provoke a lot of things. And now this is a new fight that is coming up now. Now, the worst thing that can happen is for them to forget about Olori Naomi and begin to try to get Adenikawu out of the way. And that is the reason why um, uh, people are insisting that Olori Naomi should leave. And you know that um, I do know that a lot of people, great women, um, 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 really want Naomi to stay with her husband and understand that this man is an Oba and that um, Obas are prone to this kind of behavior. But then again, this is completely different though. It is different because of the battle. The battle is 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 difficult. It's not easy. Now, it's not about who the only of Ife stays with again. No. This is a new dimension. I don't know. See, the G is uh, just gab- Baru everywhere. I don't even know which one to find. I don't know the dimension, but I'm going to tell you, you know, categorically what a lot of well-meaning Yoruba people are saying concerning this um, situation. That post that Ebony made that um, uh, her baby is the crown prince, it, it means a lot. So what that means is that the battle now changes. The battle will change from Olori Naomi and it will be focusing on this little boy. If Naomi stays in that place, even though I know that a lot of people are saying whether she stays or not, whatever battle they'll bring, they will bring. It's not as if I'm in support of her going. I am saying that whatever our opinion is here, um, at the end of the day, it's Nami's decision to decide on what she wants to do. If she says um, uh, she wants to stay, none of us can stop if she says she wants to go, but let it be her decision. And that is what Iyanifa is saying. So invariably, what we are hearing is that Iyanifa is saying, let Nami make the decision for herself. And let KBSC give Nami other options. And with what has happened now, um, she does not understand the, the tides, how the tides are going right now, that she's not going to be a party to what is not fair towards Naomi because she knows the kind of spirit that Olori Naomi has. And so that is what we have that um, the woman is saying, that even though Dr. Elizabeth pleaded and pleaded, and they said KBSC as well asked her to stay, that he is going going to, of course, fix things with Olori Naomi, that he knows Naomi's disposition, that Naomi's um, anger is just momentary, that Naomi is going to come around. Yanifa needs not to worry about anything, but they said, no, this time she didn't even wait for a private judge. She said that yesterday that she was going to leave that night. They practically held her back. And as we are talking, and Yanifa is on her way. Yes, so she's not even in Nigeria. She's on her way back because she refused to stay. That is the information we are getting. That's if it, this information is true. Do not forget, these are all alleged, rumored, and speculated information making the rounds on social media.